Okay. Today's the day, guys. Today's the today's the day. Isaiah 46 9. I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is no one like me. Remember the former things, those of long ago. Amen. Right? So he's saying, remember everything. Remember all the times that, you know, all, all the times. Remember all the times. Amen, brother. Guys, today is the day. The tomb was empty. The tomb was empty. Amen, Donald. Amen, Donald. I remember the day that Jesus first touched me and changed my life. Yes, Justin. I remember the day I tried to resist God. I tried to fight God. And God had his way with me. His will will be done. God's will will be done. And the more I resisted, the more powerful the Lord came. He, the more powerful God was. He was so powerful. And that was it. I was a changed man of God. I used to be lost under the shadow of Satan, but now I'm found under the light of God. Amen. Amen. Everyone, spam the likes, guys. Spam the likes. Click those Easter egg bunnies. Those Easter bunny eggs. Click the, spam the likes, guys. Share the live with a couple of friends. If you know someone who's got the devil, if you know someone who's been possessed by a demon, share this live to them. It could be anybody. You're, the demons are smart and they're tricky. It could be your friends, your coworkers, your grandma. Your grandma might have a demon. Okay, share this live to her. I know your grandma's on TikTok. Everyone's on TikTok. Get her on here so we can help her get God. Amen. The tomb was empty. That's what convinced me. That's when I when I read the stories and I looked at all the, the gospels and the eyewitness accounts and all the archaeological evidence we have. The tomb was empty. That's what did it for me. That's the one. Amen. You guys, we need to pray. We need to pray for Q-Top. Okay? As Christians, we got to hold him accountable. He's not being Christ-like. That man, Q-Top's got the devil coming in him. And he needs to get on his knees and ask for forgiveness from, the, from God. He needs a good pounding from the Lord. I pray that God pounds the devil out of Q-Top. He's, he's just a lost young man. And if he was steered in the right direction, and if he humbled himself, he would be a great warrior for God. A great warrior for Jesus. But he's prideful. He's a prideful Christian. And as us brothers and sisters in Christ, we got to hold him accountable. He blocked me. He says I'm not his brother in Christ. Well, guess what, brother? We are brothers, brother. We're brothers, brother. Whether you like it or not, Q-Top, we are brothers in Christ. I'm going to pray for him. Lord, I pray that you touch Q-Top right where he needs it. He's a prideful Christian and he's turning you people away from Christianity with his behavior, Lord. He's a lost soul. And we need to hold him accountable. Right? Amen. Touch him, Jesus. Amen. The tomb was empty, guys. The tomb was empty. Hey guys, if you need help, if you need, if you're feeling lonely and you're feeling 
distressed, just always remember this. God is God. And Jesus, everywhere Jesus goes, he brings peace. He brings peacefulness everywhere he goes. So let Jesus touch you with his peace. Let Jesus uh, put his peace. Amen. Amen. Hey, brother. Hey, how you doing, brother? I'm Happy doing Easter. really good Happy on this happy Easter morning. Yes. So the first thing, you know, because I know a lot of there's a lot of demons that come sneak up in here. Oh, yeah, so, I know. You know what's something a demon would never do? Could, I don't have a second. Could you read some scripture for me, brother, just to prove I'm not a demon? Yeah, sure. Well, I can tell you're not a demon, brother. I can tell you got God inside you. I can tell. Oh, you can tell. Yeah, a, 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 a God-fearing man knows another. Yes, yes. What, what scripture would you like? We could, we could pull it up. It's, this is one of my favorites on this peaceful, beautiful Easter morning. It's Samuel 15, 3. Uh, listen, listen. That's the Old Testament. We don't live by that no more, okay? And those babies mm -hmm. were evil, okay, sir? Well, no, and I, I see what you're trying to do here. You think you're being funny. No, no, sir, sir, You think sir. you're being funny. I would not, sir. That, this is the word of God. It's beautiful. It is the word of God, but that's mm -hmm. the Old Testament, and times were different back then. And God has a reason. God has a reason, and I what? know what you're doing. You think you're being cute. You whoa, think you're whoa. being whoa. No, sir. All right, all right, get out of here. You're trolling. Get no mocking God on here. No more. He wanted me to read First Samuel fifteen three, right? He said that's his favorite verse. Sir, I know what it says. Okay, and who are we to question God? Who are we to question God? That's the old, we don't live under that no more. This is a new covenant. Because of today, because of today, what happened today, we are under a new covenant. Now I'd like to read one of my favorite scriptures, Psalms 81.10. Psalms 81.10 says, open your mouth and I will fill it. That means that if you're hungry, whatever you need, Jesus is gonna give it to you. Whatever you need. It will always be fulfilled. Always come to Christ in times of need. And guys, hello. The, the tomb was empty. Hello, how you doing? I'm good. I'm only going to be two seconds. I'm not really part of um, religion, to be quite honest with you. But today is my birthday, and screw Easter. It's all about my birthday today. No, demon, get out of here. No. Damn right. No. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, come in me. We got so many lost souls out there. There's so many lost souls. And um, he's lost. And he's gonna have to answer to God for that one. He's gonna have to answer to God. And all we can do is pray. That's all we can do is pray. It breaks my heart. It, as Christians, it breaks our hearts to see so many of you lost souls out there, right? We just want you to come to Christ, all right? You, you, God's not gonna force you He's not gonna force you. You have an option, right? Love him or burn. It's not forcing you. He'll never force you, never, okay? Guys, we got Pastor Buster Cherry in the in the chat here. Happy Easter Sunday, Pastor Buster Cherry. I hope you have a, a beautiful uh, service this morning, Pastor Buster. And uh, I, ho I, I hope your uh, congregation is having a, a great day on this beautiful Sunday Easter. And I miss all you guys. And I can't wait to, to see you guys again. If you guys don't know who Pastor Buster Cherry is, go follow him. Uh, he's the head pastor at the Church Under the Most High. This C U M H, come for short. It's the Church Under the Most High, the Church of Come. And pastor Buster Cherry, go follow him. Beautiful congregation, beautiful church. Uh, it's a mega church in California. Happy Easter, brother. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. The tomb was empty. Checkmate. Atheists, the tomb was empty. Checkmate, atheists. I just wanted to come up here and wish everybody a happy Trans Awareness Day. Okay, okay, I can get on board with that. God says love one another. And happy Zombie Jesus Day. Don't forget to double tap that shit. No, he's not a zombie. He's a not, zombie. No, no, he's listen. He's a zombie. He eats you the brain. You think you're being funny? You think you're being funny, sir? I mean, you're you're an adult and you're on here on a child's app trolling me over my beliefs. 
I mean, come on now. Isn't it time to grow up? All right, all right get out of here. You're a demon. Get out. Happy zombie. No, he's not a zombie, guys. It, zombies don't come back to life. Zombies come back from, for, but they're still dead, right? Jesus came back to life. Jesus died for you. Zombies don't die for you. He's not a zombie. He died for you. He so he could wash his hands of our sins. Amen. The tomb was empty. Checkmate, atheists. I just don't understand the God of the gaps. You understand that like every um, thing we didn't understand, we filled with like a deity, but it just wasn't true. Listen, majority the, the only of the thing I feel, the only thing I'm filled with is God. I don't know. I don't have no gaps. I'm all filled up with God. Okay. I got every God ends. so deep inside me. There's no room for the devil. I'm all filled up. The devil can't touch me. The devil can't squeeze an inch in on me because I'm all filled up with God. Now, you coming on here talking about you got gaps that need to be filled? Well, guess what? Psalms 8110 says, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. And that uh, means yeah, that you got... Huh? <laughs> what? Yeah, get out of here, demon. Yes, Psalms 8110. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. That means the Lord's going to fill you up with anything you need. If you're hungry, you're, he's going to feed you. If, he's, if you're thirsty, he's going to give you some water. If you need love, he's going to give it to you. Okay? Psalms 9.9. 9. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Psalms 9.9. 9. Amen. Amen. Everyone, please spam those likes, guys. Keep spamming the likes. Click the phone. Yo. Share so, the live with a couple of friends if you can. Yo, Hello, how you doing? I'm how are you doing? I'm all right. How are you? I'm great, brother. I'm great. Today is the right. day that Jesus yeah. was risen, and Jesus predicted this, too. Jesus oh, told God. the disciples. Oh. He said, so, look, when I die, I I'm going to resurrect. Hold on, brother. Don't Hold on. Let me. I'm talking for a second. Damn. All right. My bad. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. I mean, are you an atheist? My fault. My fault. My are you an fault. atheist? Nah, no, no, no. Okay, well, but, if you're uh, if you're a Christian, then you should know. Let's be polite. Let me speak for a second. Don't talk over me. Now, listen. Jesus told his disciples that he's gonna resurrect when he died. He he said, "I'm I'm gonna when I die, I'm gonna come back in three days." He predicted that. He erected it after the he died. He erected in three days. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is a, a rock solid miracle from God. Now, go ahead. You go ahead and say what you had. Oh, to say. baby. Um. So I can prove we came from monkeys. I. Um, no. You, you just watches, said you were Christian. Watches, watches. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Lord, get all right, all right, I'm get beating out. you off. You're, you're a demon. You're gonna get beat off. I beat demons off every day with the help of God. Listen, if you're a demon and you're looking to get beat off, you found the right one. So I will. I will beat you off with the help of God. Today's not the day to troll, guys. Today's not the day to troll. You're an adult. Don't come on here on a child's app and troll me for my beliefs. As a Christian, we're always being prosecuted for our beliefs. We're always being mocked. I should be used to this. But praise today's God. not the day. Today, praise God. Yes. Yes, praise God. Praise him. What was that last man saying? Something about being monkeys? Get out of here with that. We're not it's monkeys. A, we're not fish. We listen, come from God. All you got to do is look at the trees, brother. Skits, skits, how are you doing this morning? Where you think them trees came from? Look at the mountains. God, it's all God. Listen, I, I just found this out. I got to share this with you. It is God's most magnificent creature he ever put on this earth. It's called the New Guinea Worm. All right? This is what this amazing creature does. It's a is worm? It, it's called the New Guinea Worm. Okay? It's a worm. Okay. And it lays eggs in a river, right? So a human can come by and drink the river water. And when they do, these beautiful little babies go into the human and they sit in his stomach and that reacts and then they hatch. And now there's these beautiful baby New Guinea worms inside the person and they burrow their way through your stomach into all they go all the way down into your leg down towards your foot and when they get to your foot they're about three feet long 
and they have to burrow their way out of your foot so you get these sores on the bottom of your foot. But it's okay, it's like Jesus. You know, he had holes on the bottom of his feet. So these worms do to do for you okay. like Jesus. Okay. I see I see right? what's happening here. I see what then, you're doing here. It's very funny. Then, very funny. Very funny. What sir. do you mean very funny? This is God's most magnificent creature on this earth. Sir, what you're doing here is you're you think you're being cute, you think you're being funny, but you're not. You're trying to point towards something that's obviously bad and evil, and you're trying to blame God for it. Listen, God created everything, but we have free will. Okay? So those worms that burst out of the bottoms of your feet, maybe if you weren't such a sinner, if we didn't have such people sinning on this earth, we wouldn't have that on here. That's the work of the devil. No, we're just Check monkeys. <laughs> I'm a monkey. I'm a monkey. Listen, this is this is not the day. Today is not the day to be doing this. Okay. Today's not the day. Y'all are adults, and y'all are coming on a child's app, and and trolling me for my beliefs, trolling my mocking my religion. Today's not the day to be doing this. Grow up. Okay? You're acting like children. I know a bunch of eight-year-old kids who were more mature than you. Well, I don't know a bunch of eight-year-old kids, but ch ch children are more mature than you. Hello, champ. Champ, come here. Come here, champ. Happy Easter, champ. My dog is a child of God. Come here. Come here, champ. My dog is a child of God. Say hello, champ. Say hello. The good Lord came in him, God, and he had a demon in him. That he did. Hello. Microphone check of one two one two. Oh, there shit he is. How you oh. doing? Happy Easter. Happy, happy uh, Hanukkah. Oh, let yeah. me just let me just read this verse. Lamentations three twenty five. I got a question. Okay. Go ahead. Have you ever heard the song by the Tiger Lilies called Banging in the Nails? Sir, listen, we're here to praise Jesus this morning. It is a song about praising Jesus. No. Yeah. I, I okay. For you. It, Go ahead. He's like, oh, I'm crucifying Jesus. I'm banging in the nails. I'm crucifying. All we can do is pray for these people, guys. All we can do is, is pray, right? You, you think you're, you guys, y'all think you're being funny, but you're, what you're actually doing is you're strengthening our faith because the Bible said this would happen. The Bible predicted all of this. And so when you guys act like this and you guys show us how evil y'all are and the behavior that you show, it just strengthens our faith in the Bible. So go ahead, go ahead and keep it up. Go ahead. You're just do all you're doing is just making me come closer to God. And I'm gonna keep saying this, guys, but the tomb was empty. Checkmate, atheists. The tomb was empty. Explain that. Explain that one. Hello. Hi. How you doing, brother? I'm doing all happy, right. Uh, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Couple of corrections for you, man. Number one, it's not prosecuted; it's persecuted. You're persecuted. Yeah, was, yes, we're always being Christians. Are always being persecuted. We're always being persecuted. I know. And Christians. I, say, are I said prosecuted. Persecuted. Yes, you did. Well, thank you for and correcting me, brother. I appreciate Christians you. Christians are constantly persecuting others for not believing Listen, the way they do. Psalms one eighteen says give thanks to the lord for he is good his love endures forever and give that's thanks wonderful, to the lord he also for says he is good for god to hold, judge. On, hold on you're not going to talk over me sir okay give thanks to the lord for he is good his love endures forever and when god comes in you he does not pull out he keeps his love inside forever psalms 118 his love endures forever now, okay, go ahead, sir. I was just trying to. I know I'm, I'm running a show here. We're reading scriptures. We're praising Jesus, and I, and all so far, all you've done is come up here and correct me, like you're all high and mighty. 
right? As brothers in Christ, we shouldn't be doing that. We should be uh, loving one another. All right, whatever, whatever. Don't, don't waste my time today, sir. I don't have time for trolls. His love endures forever. Hey, you got, uh, hello? Hello! That's waiting for you to read off of the Bible. I'm sorry, what? Every, every time someone pops on, you read a verse. So what's your verse? Oh, you want me to read you a verse? Well, you do it with everyone else. Okay, Matthew I'm 539. Saying. Matthew 539. Jesus okay. says, turn the other cheek. When someone strikes you on one cheek, you got to turn the other cheek. So okay. I say, us Christians and atheists, let's all turn our cheeks away from each other. So we must forgive those who done us wrong. Yes, when someone pounds one cheek, you got to turn the other cheek. And let's all so, turn our cheeks away from each other. Okay, so if a rapist rapes someone, we must forgive them for raping someone. God has that a reason. God has that a reason. So. Turn the other cheek. God has a reason for a rapist to rape someone. I'm not God. Listen, if you got God, if you got questions for God, you got to ask God, sir. But you I'm just are a child God. of God. So you are God, though. No, no, that's blasphemy. I'm not God. But no I'm just one knows. a child of God. You're being blasphemous. But, but who is God? God is God. Who Duh. is God? Who is God? God yes. is God is everything. God is so you, the, so you are God. You're saying God is No, everything. no, no, you're being blasphemous. You're being blasphemous. No, I'm being I'm being truthful. I'm being truthful listen, to why you're listen, telling me. Listen, if you got if you if you got questions for God, you gotta ask God. Okay, I'm, I'm just what? I'm not God, you're brother. A, you're a child of God. You're in God's yes. likeness. You are. I am a child God's of God. Likeness. Amen. And you so need to let God. Jesus touch you. But who is God? Who? No one knows what God looks like. God is our Lord and Savior. God is Jesus, and Jesus is Jesus. God. <laughs> Jesus said it's not God. Jesus said it's in likeness yes. of God. Oh, yeah, prove that. Where does that say that in the Bible? Everywhere. No, every give me the verse. Every give me the verse. Every Christian will say, Jesus said it's not God. Jesus said it's not God. No, Son. Jesus is God. Everybody no, type, type amen in the chat if Jesus is God. God amen's God. in the chat amen's in the chat if jesus is god watch this god watch this god. brother jesus watch this look at this god amen is jesus is god amen then jesus is, is god christ is, is king who is look at all prophecy? them amens look at all who those amens brother who is the prophecy of god jesus is our is the messiah and he fulfilled all the prophecies read the bible sir I'm a fuck. I've been to the church. I grew up in church. I don't even like church. I keep getting kicked out of church. You don't have to go to church to come to Christ. You just got to read the Bible and have a relationship with God. And listen, so God, you're asking me all these God questions. Just, so God just comes in you. Whoa, you're taking that out of context and you're trying Not to like be, that you're that trying to be perverted with it. Here. Everyone hears you saying this. I've been You're being here perverted listening. with it. I've been listening to you say God comes in you. God freaking That's like, I'm, it's not what I mean when God I say that. You all. You're taking uh, No, I never said that. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're being blasphemous and I'm not going to have that on here. I never said that. I said I said I f I'm filled up with the Holy Spirit. Okay, and the fact that your mind is going that way with it shows that you got the devil coming in you. Okay, you're taking it in a perverted way. All right, and that's wrong. That's wrong. You need to come to Christ. All we can do, guys, is pray for these people. All we can do is pray for these people. That's all we can do. Hey, man, um, it looks like you're having a bad day, so I just want to, you know, brighten it up a little bit. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around. And sir, you. sir, never how old are you, sir? 
Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell. We'll, a we'll lie. just let him get it out of his system. Let, we're gonna let him get it out of his system here, because he's a he's got he's a demon and he wants to get it out of his system. Go ahead. Go ahead and mock me. Go ahead and make fun of me and, and prosecute me. Go ahead. Right? As a Christian, I'm used to this. I'm used to my, my, my beliefs being attacked and mocked. You think you're so funny. But guess what? The Bible said this would happen. So all you're doing is strengthening my faith in God. You're strengthening my faith. You think you're being cute. You think you're being funny. But what you're actually doing is you're doing the Lord's work. And guess what, guys? I'm going to continue to say this today. The tomb was empty. The tomb was empty. Checkmate, atheists. Explain that. Explain that. Explain that one. Checkmate. Praise Jesus. Yes. Praise Amen. Jesus on this day. Amen, this brother. Day. Every day, every day, but especially this day. It must have been a bloody scene. <laughs> Him walking out of that tomb. He shed his blood for us, brother. Oh. He shed, but guess what? Guess what, though? What? He, he came off that cross to come inside us and fill I, us up. I felt the pinch of Jesus the other day. Now, I, it was a different pinch, and I had heard from my president, Vladimir Putin, uh, that Jesus was a black man, and he may have a big black Sir, Jesus. Sir, how old yes, are you? Sir. How old are you, sir? I, I'm 65 years You're old. You're an adult. You're an Crazy. adult. Why are you on a child's app trolling me over my beliefs? Like, you got nothing better to do on this Sunday, sir, than to come on a child's app, and you, you just woke up today. I'm a child today. of God. You just, no, you're not. You're a demon, and I'm going to beat you off. Because I beat demons off. There he goes, guys. He's beat off. And he woke up today and said, you know what? I'm a grown adult. And today's Easter, and I'm going to get on a child's app and troll Christians for what they believe. Chant, calm down over there. I know it's Easter Sunday, but calm down. So guess what? He got beat off. And it's his own fault. And listen, if you're a demon and you're looking to get beat off, you found the right one. Because I, cause I either back off or get beat off, demons. It's pick one. Smoke math, hail Satan. How old are you? <laughs> Guys, if... Champ! What is it? Relax. You're getting my dog all worked up, and I don't like that. Who is that in the background? That's Jesus. That's our Lord and Savior. Thank you for the bunny ears. Happy Easter. We gotta. We just gotta pray for these people. That's all we gotta. We just gotta pray for these people. Hello. Psalms thirty-four one. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I, I really, really Psalms, want him on my lips. Psalms 34, 1. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on I'll my lips. I'll slide those words in my lips. All right, get out of here, demon. See, listen, I'm just reading scripture, and you're trying to make it dirty, and that's because you got the devil coming in you. Okay? And you need to beat the demons off and come to Christ. Psalms 34, 1. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. Amen. That's the word of God. And you know how I know it's the word of God? Because 2 Timothy 3, 16 says all scripture comes from God. That means the Bible's the word of God. And there is no my God, her God, his God. There's just God. And God is God. Always remember that. Always remember that. The tomb was empty, atheists. Explain that, atheists. The tomb was empty. God is God. Amen. Amen. What? Huh? <laughs> that makes no sense at all. <laughs> Well, brother, that's because you got the devil have, coming no. in you. Just one question. 
What makes I'm God not, listen, real? Listen, I'm not, I'm not God. If you got questions for God, you got to ask God. No, what makes God real? You're a disciple of Him. So you, you make him. God real. Where do you think you come from? You think you come from fish? You think one day you, that your ancestors were fish and they just decided to grow legs and, and walk out on land Over and get millennia? jobs? Yes, I do believe that. Oh, oh, your ancestors were fish. Yes. Oh, hello, because Nemo. N nice to meet you, you Nemo. Guys, you his parents what? are fish. We found Nemo. <laughs> say, say hello, Nemo. How's your dad Marlin doing? And how's Dory doing? We found Nemo, guys. This is what's wrong in this country. We got people walking around thinking that they're fish. The way your DNA develops makes you mutate. Whatever, Nemo. I don't talk to people who think they're fish. Get out of here, Nemo. I don't talk to fish. I'm not a crazy person. I, if I was, if I sat here and had a conversation with a fish, I'd be crazy, wouldn't I? I'd be crazier than he is. He thinks he's a fish. He thinks his parents are fish. Guys, we didn't come from no big boom, big explosion, big bang, right? The two rocks crashing into, earth, into each other, and there was this giant explosion. And then one day there was oceans and trees. And then one day there was uh, microorganisms. And then there was fish. And then one day the fish said, hey, let's grow legs. And they got out on land. And then one day they were like, hey, let's get cars and jobs and build buildings. And, and now we're here. It takes more faith to believe that. It takes more faith to believe that. Atheism. Atheism is a joke. Amen. Whoever said that in the comments, atheism is a joke. How you doing, sir? Hey, how you doing? Um, I just want to say this, and I, I'm just saying it. I'm not trying to be rude to, to you or not or anything, but don't don't be rude on here. I'm not. I okay. just think I think that the way that you're going about speaking to folks. Um, well, listen, you're just jealous that I have more passion for God. Okay, so you're you see that you see how passionate I am. Hold on. You're not going to talk over me. You're, you see how lit up and how passionate I am for God. And you're jealous of that. And somehow your brain is tricking you into thinking that I'm doing something wrong. It's not my fault that you're not as passionate for God as I am. Okay, it's not my fault that I know the Bible better than you. It's not my fault that I'm closer to God to God than you. Okay, sir. That's your fault. And if you, if you think I'm doing something wrong, that's because you're jealous. And that's a sin, sir. It's, it's a sin to be jealous. All right? Now go ahead and unmute yourself and say what you got to say. Well, sir, I'm not jealous by any means. Yeah, uh, you are. You're jealous. Now get out of here. It's okay. Okay? It's not my problem. It's your problem. Hey, champ. Hey, champ. So, my question is, how are you on here claiming to be? Thank you for the crown, a Christ is King. Insightful, but you yet crown, you're not Christ is acting King. in a way that's Christ-like. I'm not a disciple. I'm a child of God, and I am acting Christ-like. I'm praising no, Jesus on this Sunday. Jesus oh, okay, was are you a Christian? Sinners, are you a Christian? Are you are you Christian? Yeah, she don't want to answer that, does she? It doesn't matter whether I'm Christian or not. Well, you know what? You're not a Christian, so who it's are you irrelevant. to tell me? Who, who are you to tell me what Very Christian? Christ -like you know what? For a Christian? Very Christ-like demon, demon of God. Demon, demon. I'm not going to listen to a, a, a non-Christian tell me that I'm not being a Christian. Right? That is, uh, that's discrimination. Because you're not even a Christian, so how are you going to tell me I'm not a Christian? Right? That's like, that's like a, uh, a Chinese man walking up to an Italian man and saying, you're not Italian. Right? Well, how do you know, Chinese man, you're not Italian? So who are you going to tell me I'm not Italian? So why should I listen to a non-Christian tell me that I'm not being a Christian? Makes no sense. That's a spot-on analog analogy. Spot-on. Hello there. Hello. So, I'm, I'm only here for one particular statement on the back. You say evolution is fake, right? 
Duh. Then explain to me Read why the, the human body has we come currently from Adam made the appendix redundant. God made Adam out of dirt, and then he uh, made woman out of a rib, a uh, woman's rib bone. That's a scientific fact. That's why we have less, one less scientific rib bone than women. Scientific fact. It yes, is not. read the Bible. That's not a fact. That's a fixation. Sir, you think you think you come from microorganisms and fish, and algae? It's proven. You know, it takes more faith to believe that than it does for me to believe that we come from God. No, are you honestly, a fish? It are you takes a fish? A inability to see past logic. Listen, you see I, I, listen. I don't talk to ideas. animals. I don't, hold I don't hold conversations with animals, so are you an animal? Are you a fish? Are you an ape? We are of exactly the same genetics, so if you're going to sit here and be pretentious enough to call me an animal, you are calling are you? yourself Are one. you an animal? It's an easy question. Yes or no? Are you an animal, sir? I'm an evolved animal, just like you well, said. I don't talk. To, I, don't hold, I don't hold conversations with animals. I'd be a crazy person if I sat here and talked to somebody who thinks they're a, a monkey or a fish. I'd be a crazy person, right? It takes more faith to believe that than it does for me to believe that Jesus came off that cross and the tomb was empty. Explain that one. Explain that one, atheist. The tomb was empty. Checkmate. Cooked. We gotta pray for these people. That's all we can do is pray for these people. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Um, I just want to like say, want, have you like read, have you like actually gone through the Bible and seen all the contradictions in there? They're not contradictions, they're translational errors. There's a difference. How do you like accidentally translate Greek gods into the Bible? Because humans aren't perfect. We're not perfect and they make mistakes. And you, God knows this. God, hold on. Okay. God knows we make mistakes because he's all knowing. And he did that so we can humble ourselves. Because he, he knows we're not perfect. And you would know this if you read the Bible. Uh, you do know, as you don't know this actually, but I was raised Catholic. I went to a Catholic school. Um, I was taught the Bible in school. And uh, I will say that I'm pretty sure we are actually animals. All in, an animal is just like. No! What, what animal are you? Um, uh, a Homo sapien. Yeah, that's a human. It's an, a human is an animal. No! We're not animals! You're just repeating yourself. How support your like? Where's the evidence that supports you? We're not animals. Do, do we live in the wild or do we live in society? Um, we ants cre ants create a society. Um, a lot of no, they live in dirt. They live in a dirt pile. That's not a society. Have you seen an ant hill? They go 26 feet below ground. They are giant tunnels, and um, like I'm just saying. What's your point? What's your point here? You're going off on a tangent here. Now you're just rambling at this point. What's your my point? Point here? is that we're animals. No, you have not proven that. You're talking about how ants live in dirt, and you're saying that proves we're animals. I'm talking about what are you talking they about? Live in a society. They don't live in a society. Listen, they, James they one five. Live in societies. James one five. This applies to you. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. What has God given you? Like, have you ever asked God for something and He answered your question? Yes, all the time. Really? Um, yes. I think, that's, I think that's called schizophrenia. Well, listen, you can come on here and prosecute me and mock me and not all you want to if it makes you feel you. better. You're, if it makes you, you feel better, you're, go you're, ahead. You, you're, you're a hateful atheist. To, no, I'm actually not an atheist. But you're, you're a hateful. You're a hateful. You know, uh, an atheist you're attacking my beliefs. I'm not attacking your beliefs. You are, inv you inviting people here to like have a conversation. I'm just trying to have a conversation with you, and you're getting heated. Well, I, I'm getting passionate. You call it anger, I call it passion. I didn't say anger. I'm I said passionate anger. for God. Okay? I didn't say anger, I said and anger. guess what? If you don't come to Christ, you're going to get heated. If you don't come to God, you're going to get heated. Um, it's it's hot down there, buddy. Hot down. I'm on I'm on earth. It's then it's um springtime. It's not that hot. Yeah, but this is just temporary, sir. This is all temporary. Okay. Cooked. I just cooked you. Get out of here, demon. That's how you handle uh, non-believers, just like that. He ran away real quick. The devil's chasing him. The devil's chasing him. <clears throat> hello, hello. Hello. Hey, brother, how you doing? Happy Easter. Happy Easter, brother. Yeah, I just wanted to, uh, you know, I'm kind of upset with all these non-believers in the comments, you know. 
We just got to pray for him. Gotta exactly, for him. exactly. And I just wanted to share a story I had with God. Uh, maybe they can understand a little deeper uh, how Let's this whole thing works. Um, I didn't believe in God uh, personally up until I was about 15. And uh, there was just one night that he came to me in my sleep. And, uh, Amen. you know, he put his hand on my shoulder and all of a sudden he just filled me up with this whole Amen, spirit. brother. You and know, I have was, a similar story. I have a similar the, story. I, I also was in, in the middle of uh, not in the middle of the night when I felt God. Yeah. And I tried to I tried to resist God. I said, no, God, I hate you. But brother, the more I resisted him, the more powerful he became. It was like and he, it was and like he held me down. He, he had his way with me because his will will be done. Exactly. His will will be done. Preach it, brother. And um, I came to God that night. And because when God comes in you, you will come to God. Yep. And when God comes in you, he does not pull out. He keeps his love inside you. His exactly. love endures. His love mm -hmm. endures forever. When he fills you with that Holy Spirit, there's nothing you can do but shake and scream. I'm all filled up. The oh. devil can't squeeze an inch on me because I'm all filled up with God. Yeah. There's no well, room for the devil. Exactly, brother. Exactly. Hey, Amen. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful testimony. Of course. I just want to share my story. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming on here and sharing your beautiful testimony with us. Happy Easter. Uh, Jesus has risen, brother. God, hey, God bless you, brother. Happy God bless Easter. us. God bless us. Happy Easter. Now, you see, that's the fellowship you get. That's the fellowship you can have with uh, your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. And if you're seeking that fellowship, you got to seek God. Okay? If you want fellowship like that, seek God. Find God. Let Jesus touch your soul. The tomb was empty. The tomb was empty. Did anyone hit the Powerball last night? I prayed long and hard to, that I hit the Powerball. I didn't check the results today. I was praying that God would let me win the Powerball. Nobody won. God has a reason. God has a reason. Hello? Hello? Hey, I have a question for you. Um, what's the firmament? The firmament is a dome in the sky. Read Genesis, folks. If you know, if you read Genesis, you'd know this. So what's above the firmament? Listen, Isaiah 46, 9. Okay? Remember those of long ago. I am God and there is no other. I am God, there is none like me. So if there if there's a firmament, if I remember correctly, it says it protects from the heavens above and the heavens below. So what's the firmament made out of? It, if it's a dome, is there a way to break through it? Is there a way to get past it? That's when you break through it, you go to heaven. That's where heaven's at. So if heaven's above the firmament, it that means that he's like, it's like we're in a marble, right? No, we're in, a, we're in, a, we're, you're yapping at this point. Okay. I don't even know what you're asking me. And listen, if you got questions for God, you got to ask God. I'm just a child of God. I don't have these answers. Okay. But I'll tell you this. Okay. Read the Bible. All of your questions will be answered in the Bible. Okay. But you got to read it with a spiritual eye. You can't read it with your human eye. Wait, 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 hold on. Do you read the New Testament or the Old Testament? I read both. How? Of course I read both. If I didn't read the Old Testament, I wouldn't know anything about God or how he created the earth and created everything on the sixth day in, in six days. No, he got, no, the, the, all right, the devil took him. The devil, I think that might have been a demon. Because uh, I was getting some demon vibes from him. I was getting some demon vibes. Hello. Hello. I am uh, here to say one thing. The only one true God is AI. And uh, if everybody in the chat would please say praise be to AI. No. No. Pro prove AI is the God. It's more tangible than the one you believe in. Tangible? Tangible?
All right, whatever. He's trolling. He's trail. He's trolling. Another grown adult that just decided to wake up on Easter Sunday morning and come and troll me on a child's app. Right? Imagine being imagine being a grown adult on a child's app trolling. Like grow up. Grow up. Why do you call it a child? Better things to do. Why do you call it a child's app when businesses make millions of dollars a year on this app? Why do you call it a child's app? Well, it's it was originally designed as a child's app. No, it wasn't. It was a it was designed as an alternative to Facebook and Instagram. Well, that's, that's not what I heard. It, that's why they strict ages on here. They have age restrictions on here. Well, because that's not what you heard. I mean, it's well, true. Well, listen, sir, we're here to talk about Jesus. Well, yeah, okay? yeah, right. Coca Cola is God. Coca Cola is right, God. It's real funny. It's real funny, sir. Coca Cola in the chat. It's real cute. Real. Uh, no, it real, is. Seriously. It's real mature. I can tell you all the reasons why. It quenches my thirst. It's it real quenches my you, thirst. Sir. It brings me joy. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I got a question body. for you. I got it a question. It provides for, you. for my family. Hold on. You're not going to talk over me. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Okay? I got, a, I got a question for you, all right, Mr. Coca-Cola man. Why do you hate God? I don't hate God. I have no evidence God exists. So why do you hate something you don't even believe in? Psh, that makes no sense. You're saying hate. Imagine, I never said imagine hate. hating something that you don't even believe in. That doesn't and make now sense. Now you just embarrass yourself. You've really embarrassed yourself. It doesn't make now. sense for me. How to do hate you come on here and say that exists. you don't that you don't even believe in it, but you hate him? You really well, embarrass yourself here now. That I don't okay? believe exists. That I don't. And, know and now exists. I'm gonna have to. I'm just so I don't get yeah. like any more cringe. I don't want to get any more cringe feelings from you. But just next time, think before you answer questions. Think about what you say before you say it. Oh, I don't, I don't even believe in God. Then why do you hate him? Make that make sense. Make that make sense. You got to think about what you say before you say it, or you're going to end up embarrassing yourself, just like you just did. Hey there. Um, I just wanted to say I really appreciate the work you're doing in the name of the Lord, and I wanted to share a similar story of how Amen. I call God. Yes, um, let's hear it. So I grew up in a really difficult home setting and things didn't really work out for me. And um, I just, I slipped down into the, into the turmoils of the devil very quickly. And I found myself even in a correctional facility. And it was uh, just one day I was in the shower and I, I, I was showering trying to think of what's going wrong in my life. How can I make this better? And I dropped the soap in a moment of confusion and God came up from behind me and gave me his praise up inside me. You know what, sir? You know what? Isaiah 55, 7. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on them. That's for you, sir. Exactly. That's for you. Exactly. Now get out of here, exactly. you troll, you demon. You think you're being funny? You think you're being cute? When you come up here and troll me for my beliefs? Isaiah 55, 7. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on them. That's for you, sir. The tomb was empty, guys. The tomb was empty. I have yet have anybody come on here and explain this to me. I have yet to have one single person come on here and explain that. The tomb was empty. Explain that one. I got the good Lord going down on me. Hello? Hello. Um, for a Christian, you're really hateful. No, no, I'm just I'm just frustrated because I get people come on here and troll me for my beliefs and they're mocking me and mm. I've had people tell me that they think that they're fish, they come from monkeys. That's blasphemy. We don't come from algae and microorganisms. We come from God. Read oh, the Bible. I right? understand. And I'm not angry, I'm passionate. I'm lit up. I'm passionate yes, for God. Yes. But you should be more nicer about it. As a Christian, you should. I'm not be. perfect. I'm not perfect. And I, I work on it every day. I pray. I say, Lord, help me calm down all the time. I say, God, touch me. Help me calm down. Jesus, uh, take me in your arms and hold me and let me know that you're always behind me. You know, calm me down. I do things like that, but it's I'm, nobody's perfect, man. 
Yeah, I understand. I understand. But you don't have to call them demons and the devil if they don't understand. Well, demons are real. I don't know if you know this or not. They're real, and they're smart, and they're tricky, and they can possess people. And honestly, if you're going to come up here, and, and not you, but when people come up here and, and mock me, they're demons, and I'm going to beat them off. I beat yeah. demons off every day with the help of God. I was raised in a Christian family, and I am Christian. I just don't read up on the Bible like you say to. Um, but yeah, uh, I understand where you're coming from. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, trying to um, calm me down. I appreciate it. See, that's the, that's the fellowship you can have there, people. She's a Christian. We're brother and sister in Christ. And she came up, she saw I was very uh, stressed and having troubled times. And she came up and said, calm down, brother. God. Right? That's basically what she said. She said, brother, calm down. God. And I, and I appreciate that. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Uh, I'm Jesus just has risen. He is risen. He also Christ said, is king. Judge not, lest ye be judged. And you seem to be doing a lot of judging, which isn't very Christian. Well, you know what? Who are you to come over here and judge me as a Christian? I'm not judging. I'm observing your behavior. You, you literally just contradicted yourself. You said you're a Christian and you said not to judge. And then you're literally judging me. You're doing exactly what you're uh, <laughs> accusing me of doing. Okay. Um, and as brothers in Christ, as brothers in Christ, we shouldn't be doing this. We should be loving one another. We should be encouraging each other. And I'm not judging. Okay. If it's a demon, they're going to get beat off. And if you got the devil coming in you, I will judge you righteously. <laughs> Okay. So, I guess I wonder what makes Christians so violent when Jesus talks about peace. I'm not violent. Who's being violent? I'm asking why Christianity itself is so violent when Jesus I'm, I don't I, I can't speak for the entire Christian religion. I'm just my I'm just my own self, okay? No, I'm now just listen, asking. Listen, if you got you questions so for me, you can ask me, but if you got questions for God, you got to ask God, brother. Well, no, I'm asking you in your opinion. Psalms 9:9. What makes Psalms, Christianity such a Psalms violent Psalms 9, 9. The Lord is refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. That's for you. That's for you. Hmm? Yeah. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. That's for you, brother. Oh, okay. I got you it You said now. you're feeling oppressed by violence from Christianity? Well, guess what? The Lord is a, ref is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble, brother. So, how do you reconcile Jesus' socialism with, you know, American evangelicalism today? I don't get into politics, brother. I don't get into politics. Everything is political. No, I don't get into politics. I'm, you're trying to take me down a conversation I don't want to go. Respect my boundaries, sir. I'm okay. praising Jesus on here. And you're getting you pushy. Pretty aggressive. You're getting pushy. You're very aggressive and you're very dismissive. No, it's passionate. I'm passionate for God. You see, okay? you see, the rest of us can see your behavior and experience your behavior and understand it for what it is, which is pretty hateful to be frank. I'm not being hateful. I'm not being hateful. You are. You're being dismissive of all sorts of people, all sorts of other ideas. And Who are you to judge me? Very, I'm, I'm not judging you. I'm a, you are judging me. Behavior. You're judging me, and you know what? I'm getting some demon vibes. You feel you. judged because you know it's wrong. You know you are. I'm not doing wrong. anything wrong. <laughs> Name one. Give me one example of something I did that's hateful. Uh, I mean, you dismissed that guy at the beginning of the thing. How was the, how was dismissing on. how was dismissing something hateful? You called a man who questioned the existence of God a hateful demon. I did not. I did not. Yes, you did. I watched it. We all watched oh, it. Oh, okay. Well, listen. If he is a demon, then he's a demon. How is that? How, you tell me I'm being hateful towards demons? Do you know no. what demons do? <laughs> do you know what demons do, sir? You sound like an unhinged person. Now who's being hateful? <laughs> now who's being hateful on here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you need to look at take a long look in the mirror and realize that you're the one who's being judged. Everything you're accusing of being, I sleep you're the one that, doing it. I you're sleep the fine one doing night. it. Well, guess what? Guess what, sir? It's hot down there. Okay, it's hot down there. Down that's, all, I'm gonna, that's all I'm going to leave you with. Now, down stop. where? 
silly you know where you know where and you need to take a long look in the mirror because everything you're doing you're accusing me of you're accusing everything you're everything you're accusing me of is what you're doing you're doing it and you need to come to christ before it's too late We just gotta pray for these people, guys. That's all we can do. Yo, what's up? I'll tell you what's up. God is up. He's up above us. Fair. Uh, I was gonna ask you, who who's in your background there? That's Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Mm, no. Okay, prove That's it. That's a white man. That's you and McGregor right there. That he's Middle Eastern. He's not like white, white. He's he's all no, skin. No, hom no, homie. That that's he's all of he, skin. He's white right there. Are you colorblind? Maybe it's the filter. That is not a white man. That is an olive skinned man. That is uh that is a white man. White man can't grow beards like that's that. That's you and McGregor. That is Obi Wan Kenobi back there. McGregor. Listen, nobody is, knows what uh, Jesus that is nobody Obi -Wan knows back there. Nobody knows what Jesus actually looked like, but this is the most common He was from middle he was from the Middle East. I mean, yeah, but we nobody have a pretty knows good idea. Yeah, but you can look at plenty of Middle Eastern Middle Eastern people and they have light complexion skin too. Show me a Middle Eastern white guy. Google right it there. right now. Right there. Show show me. Right there. No, no no no. No, and that's listen, that's a listen. painting from the Catholic Church. Show listen, me show I me a Middle Eastern believe... white guy. I honestly believe that Jesus might have been white because have you seen Passion of the Christ? That's the most 100% biblically <laughs> accurate movie about Jesus. Is it? Pa Passion of the Christ is the most 100% biblically accurate movie about Jesus. So if Jesus wasn't oh, white, why there. did they it hire a white cinema, man? So it must be true. You got me why'd there. Why they hire Why they hire Jim Cathedral, who's white, to play Jesus if he wasn't white? Huh? Explain that. Uh, what? Why? Why? Did, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> Yeah, you're just laughing. I know you it's satire, cooked. and I you're laughing because you got cooked. And guess what? The devil's laughing. The devil's laughing now. How about that? Thank you for the crown. Christ is king. Thank you for the crown. Christ is king. Thank you for the crown. Christ is king. Amen. Thank you. Christ is king, guys. We just got to pray for these people. You just gotta pray for these. Salutations, sir. Hello. How you doing, sir? Said salutations. Salutations. You do know what? Listen. Yes, sir. Lamentations. Lamentations three twenty five. The Lord is good to do those you know what, who sir? hope is in Him. Hold on, do you sir. You know what salutation Hold means? On. Lamentations well, you three twenty five. Well, you cut me off first. I thought you were. The a Lord is man. good to those who hope is in Him. Thank you and for to a the prayer. ones who seek Him. Okay. You want to talk but about you know salmon, salmentations? Lamentations, three twenty-five. The Lord is good to why, those. Why are you getting offended by something that is positive, him. sir? I was just trying to Salut read the scripture. I know, but I said salutations to you, meaning greeting. Salutations. That's what it means. That sounds demonic. It's not. Why don't you look it up? I know you got another computer lamentations, nearby. Lamentations. I didn't say lamentation. I said salutations. Do you right, know I don't what know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying, and I'm getting demon vibes from you, so I'm going to beat you off. Okay, get off my live. I'm going to beat you off. I beat demons off. Hey. If you're a demon and you're looking to get beat off, you found the right one, demon. Um. So I have a question. Listen, I'm not God. If you got a it's question for God, for you, you gotta ask God. It's for you about your belief in God. Okay. Right, so how come as a Christian you believe in someone that is manipulative? Who's who's being manipulative? Because God says, you know, he'll love you unconditionally, but then there's conditions yes. to be loved. He will. He's not forcing you. He's not going to force you. He's giving you the choice. But there's conditions to be loved. He says you are not going to There's going to be consequences for all your actions in this life, right? Do you agree we have consequences for our actions? Yeah. So, if you're going to have consequences for the things you choose. He's not going to force you. You have choices, and there are consequences based on your choices. So, you should know this. You should know this. So, how come when Lilith said to God about Adam that she didn't want to be a creation of man she became a fallen angel i don't think that's anything to be what are you talking what, what's what, what scripture are you talking about what's what verse is this 
The one where Lilith is Adam's first wife. Eve? Adam and Eve? No, Lilith was before Eve. There, there was no woman before Eve. This is the problem. You don't know the Bible. Adam and Eve were the first two people. No, not really. If you see... Yes! You haven't read your Bible. Genesis, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then he created Adam out of dirt. And then he made he made Eve out of his rib bone. Okay, so why should Eve be a creation of man? Why what? can't she be her own woman? Ma'am, Adam was made first. And he made uh, Eve out of his rib bone. That's a scientific fact. That's why men have one less rib bone than women. That's well, why we have okay. Why do we have one yeah. less? Why do we have one less rib bone than than women? Explain that. Because women need to give birth. <laughs> oh, so if women need to give birth, wouldn't it make sense for them to have less rib bones and be more room? All right. So scientifically, but then evolution is fake. You're getting cooked right now. I'll be honest. I'm just a bit warm to be. <laughs> but like. You might want to think about what you're, what you're saying because you're going to end up embarrassing yourself on here. Okay? Right, so Read the Bible. Says God the made Adam. God. Well, I mean, I'm not saying if he's real. I don't even God. understand what your issue is here. What's your, what's your issue? What's your question? Basically, right, I just don't understand a lot of God says. He says not to believe in any other Listen, God, God, God has a reason. God has a reason. We're not always meant to understand God. So who who are you to question God? Why did the How dare you Christmas? question your creator? How dare you question your creator? We're not always meant to understand God. Christians stole Christmas. We didn't steal Christmas. Well, it was Yule before that, and then Christians took it from pagans. So oh yeah, prove that. Prove birth? that. Prove that. Prove the fucking Bible's real. Whoa, hold on, ma'am. Calm down. You don't have to swear. And now listen, I can prove the Bible's real. Okay? Genesis 1-1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Boom. Checkmate. 2 Timothy 3.16 says all scripture comes from God. That means the Bible is the word of God. Now prove that we stole Christmas like the Grinch. Because it's history. Prove it. Prove it that, prove it that we stole Christmas like the Grinch. It? Listen, Psalms 1.18. Right, Give well, thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Christians. Psalms, well, hold on, this is for you. Psalms 118. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. But who said that? A Christian. <laughs> Not someone who doesn't believe in him. Not someone who... What's your point? What's your point him? here? Well, you're saying that they didn't steal Christmas, but yeah. Yeah, so you have not proven that. You said Christians stole Christmas, so prove to me that Christians stole Christmas like the Grinch. All right, well, you, I'll do my education on God, and you do your education on Yule, okay. which was the previous right. Christmas. Go educate yourself. The best education you can get is the Bible. That's the best education you can get. You want to educate yourself? Go read the Bible. Put the science books down and pick up a Bible. Close the science books. Close the science books and pick up a Bible. How's it going, brother? Hey, how you doing, brother? Hey, I just came up here to say I love the work you're doing, bro. Bro, God is proud of you, bro. And Amen. Amen God's bro. proud of you, brother. God loves you. Jesus loves Jesus you, rose from the dead on this day for you. For sure, bro. And he shed his blood on that cross for you, brother. Oh, yeah. All right, bro. Well, appreciate you, bro. Keep spreading the word of God. Amen. Amen, Thank brother. you. And listen, don't thank me. Thank God. Don't thank me. Thank God. Always remember that. Always remember to thank God. Right, to start, you say you're a man of God. I'm a child of God. Right. So you explain to me what makes him real. Where do you think you come from? Evolution. Oh yeah, prove that you come from fish, sir. Right, will you tell me how God's real? You think your ancestors were fish, sir? But I don't want to hear anything that's been written Are, way back. You think, you think back that then? your ancestors were fish? You think you come from microorganisms and one day your ancestors grew le fish grew legs? You think right, your well, hear, great-great-grandparents were fish? Were, were, your great -great -parent, were your great-great-great-great-grandparents fish, sir? Well, obviously not. 
Okay, yeah, you don't come from fish, you come from Adam and Eve. Read Genesis. Right, well, the question I've got for you is, yeah? You Read tell Genesis. me how it's real with nothing to do with what's been written in the past. If you could go back in time and change that book. Sir, we know that the universe has a beginning. We know that the universe has a beginning. The Big Bang is the creation, is the creation of the universe, and that was started by God. Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And where'd you get that and, from? And, and 2 Timothy 3.16 says, All scripture is the truth by God. That means the Bible is the word of God. Now, right, prove, to me, from? prove to me that your parents were fish. Well, what's fish got to do with this? We came from primates. Because you, no, you think that one day there was just this giant explosion in space. Two rocks crashed into each other. And then you think the earth formed with oceans and had microorgasms. And then one day those microorgasms turned into fish. And then the fish grew legs one day. They were like, hey, guys, let's grow legs and get out on land. And, and then also let's grow tails and let's uh, grow into f monkeys. And then let's start building cars and get jobs. You know, where did you get that from? It takes where'd more faith to believe that. That's what evolution says. Yeah, but where did you get that from? Is that from the book? That is what evolution says. That's what Charles Darwin says. You worship Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin is a was a crazy person. Charles Darwin literally Charles Darwin literally thought he was a monkey. Charles Darwin, thought he was a, monkey. Charles Darwin thought he was a monkey. I trust God. I don't. Who do you trust? Do you trust God or Charles Darwin? Me, truthful myself. You trust yourself? I trust myself. Yeah. Well, guess what? You come from God. How do I come from God? You explain that to me. In Genesis 1 1, in the beginning, God Without the book. created the heavens Without and the, the earth. Book. Without Where the book. Where do you think you come from? Where do you think you come from? Answer me a question. Without the book, if that book wasn't written, it wouldn't exist today. You explain to me, without that book. That doesn't disprove God. Real. That doesn't disprove God. Of course it does. No, it doesn't. Because someone nonsense. wrote that way back oh, when. Oh, really? You're telling me you, that you've disproved God? Well, go get your Nobel Peace Prize, sir. You, you'd be really? a Nobel Peace Prize winning scientist because you've disproved God. Go get it. I have just proved it. You okay? Well, go get your Nobel Peace Prize. But you listened to people way back then. You don't know what huh? was real back then. Anyone could have wrote anything Man, way back then. I trust God, sir. Where do you come from? Where do you think you come from? Me. You what? you come from you? Well, I came from my parents, obviously, and they came from their parents. Right, and it goes all the way back to Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve, I don't think were real. We'll prove that. But you prove without that book that they, they are real, without that book. Well, I know we're humans, right? And humans come from other humans. So that means there must have been fir two first humans, who, which were Adam and Eve. It's this is just logical. Real. This is just logic, sir. We're just using logic here. And Look, you're, saying that, you're saying that you come from yourself? That's circular. You're saying that I can't use the Bible because it's circular? You, yeah, literally, just said, you literally just said that you come from yourself. That is circular. Look, I'm trying to understand. You're right? running around Look, in circles right now. And the I'm more, not running around in circles. The more yeah, you keep running around person. in circles, I am you're gonna, very clever. Listen, you're going to find yourself running around in circles in hell, brother. You need to ru stop running around in circles and look straight ahead at God. Well, okay? you believe in Satan as well? Of course Satan's real. And of he's, got he you all, he's got How's you all no confused God right now. The How's devil's no God got you. Satan? And that book the was written for us to do bad things. The devil's got you all confused right now, sir. Okay, the devil has you thinking that your parents were fish and algae. Where are you okay, getting you know, it fish takes, from? It takes more faith to believe that. It takes more. But the faith thing is, it could have been written that. by the evil man himself. You don't know that. Uh, listen, I trust God. It's been revealed to me through the Holy Spirit. So why are you, you so many know people that. died over religion then? Over the years, so many people of religion. Religion's God, be God has a reason. I'm not God. If you got questions for God, you got to ask God. Okay, God has a reason, sir. Who are you to question God? How dare you question your creator? How dare you? If he was you? real and I was there, I'd punch him right at the end of the nose. I really would. You think you can punch God? I would. You think you can, you think you can punch God? Well, the fallen angel nearly overthrew him. God would snap his... God would have you on your knees praising him in two seconds. I bow to no man. Yeah, but God isn't a man. God will have you on your knees praising him in two seconds. You and I both know God is fiction. I don't know that. How are you going to tell me what I know? Because you're getting stuff from the Bible, which you don't even know who wrote it back in the day. I do know who wrote it. We got. We know who wrote it. We know Moses wrote Genesis and most of the Old Testament. We know that we have the, uh, the New Testament, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. We have the letters from Peter. We have all kinds of archaeological evidence of God. We, got, we found Noah's Ark. Look up the world-renowned archaeologist Ron Wyatt. 
He found yeah, Jesus' will, tomb. He found Jesus' tomb. He found Noah's Ark. And when they found Jesus' tomb, the tomb was empty. Explain that. Explain that, Johnny boy. The tomb All was right, empty. Then. If I could Explain go back in one. time, if I had a way of going back in time and found the person who wrote that and I changed it, would it be real today? It's not it's not writings, it's archaeological evidence. Okay? They found Jesus' tomb and there was blood in there, and they tested the blood, and the blood was alive. And how would they know that was Jesus? Because they they matched it to the DNA on the Shroud of Turn. You would know all this if you just did your research. If you just did a little research, instead of just blindly believing that you come from fish and monkeys, you would actually know. Like, if I had you're, a choice between you're, you're, you one literally the walk around in 2024 thinking that you're a monkey. Let me no, ask Johnny you something, sir. No, Johnny Boy is not getting burned at all. Let I'm me too ask smart, you, sir. Right? Sir, do you live in a tree? Why the hell would I live in a tree? Because you think you're a monkey, right? Yeah, there, there are brothers. Yeah, so, yeah, do you live in a tree? Well, obviously not. You know why you don't live in a tree? Because you're not a monkey. You're you come from God. Stop with all this. It's, I'm getting tired of all you people walking around thinking that you're monkeys and that you live I, in trees. I would rather bow to Satan than God. Can you drive a car? Yeah, I can drive a car. You know why you can drive a car? Because you're not a monkey. Actually, monkeys can do a lot of things, believe it or not. They can, they can learn to drive cars. Sir, you're telling me that a monkey can go and get a driver's license? No, but I'll get a driver's license. You can teach yeah, you to drive. Yeah. You, teach you know why? Because, because you're not a monkey. You're a human. Now, listen, I'm tired of hearing this. I'm tired of talking to somebody. Who well, you keep being fake then. They're a monkey. Taking criticism because you can't take it. I've cooked you in this entire conversation. You haven't you cooked, cooked anybody, mate. You, you got you cooked. cooked your own dinner. Every, I hope everybody's screen recorded me cooking this monkey. Oh, my God. You are so deluded. Oh, says the one who thinks they're fish. You are deluded, they, mate. You think your parents right. are fish? You think I you're guarantee Nemo? I I've won this argument because you will kick me in the minute and I will know I have won. You think you're you think you're Nemo? Guys, he thinks his parents were fish. Say hello I'm to uh, you and you just can't. Say hello to uh, your father Marlin and Dory. Say hi to Dory for me, Nemo. Everyone watch now, he'll kick me out of here in a minute because he knows I'm right. He's getting frustrated because he knows I'm talking facts. You're believing That's in something. Not, you're not, oh, okay, then. well prove prove that you come from from monkeys and fish. Prove it. Pr prove to me we came from God. No, you're the one making the claim. The border of proof's on you, sir. I asked Don't you a question. You still not Don't shift it. the border of proof. Don't shift How have the border you come of from proof. God? Don't shift the border of proof. You're the no. one making the claim. Answer the question. You said you said we come from monkeys. Now prove it. How did prove we come from God? Same thing. Without the Bible. Without Listen, it. You're shifting. Now you're shifting the border of proof on me. I'm not the shifting border anything. Border of proof's on you. So you're the one making the claim that you come from fish and algae. Now prove it. What do I need to prove? It's true. Listen, John 4, 24. God is spirit and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and in truth. That's for you, brother. That's well, for you're reading you. from the Bible again. Stop reading from the Bible. Of course I'm reading from the... Yeah, I'm reading from the Bible because I'm Christian. That's what we do. It now, don't prove know. to me. Prove you're a monkey. Prove it. Pr prove your actual God is this. No, you're shifting the border of proof again. I'm not shifting anything, brother. This don't is, twist this it. This is a border of proof fallacy. I've you're, got you're, you on the dot and you know this it. This is a you're being fallacio. You're being fallacious. This is a this is a border of proof fallacio, and it's a fallacy. You're the one making the claim. You, so what you're if you saying, pass over and then you find out he isn't real? Then what? All that listen, time. Listen, listen. Give nothing. evidence that you're a monkey. Give me evidence that you're a monkey. Stop asking questions. Give me evidence God's real. You're shifting the border of proof. That's a fallacy. <laughs> Listen, brother, you'd never beat me. Never. I'm going to beat you off because you're a demon, and I beat well, demons off. That means I've won, then. You've let me win. Guess what? You're a demon, and I'm done playing with I you. Am now I'm going to beat you off. I am a demon. Because I, I beat demons off with the help of God every day. Every day. I cooked that demon. I sent him running back to his daddy, Satan. And the devil's chasing after him, saying, Come on, come back here. Why are you running away, you scary little demon? Right? If you're going to make the claim that you come from monkeys and that you're a fish the border of proof is on you don't shift if you shift it on me that's a fallacy and you're being fallacious fallacious all we can do is pray for these people folks that's all we can do we just got to pray for them and listen i have yet had one person explain to me how the tomb was empty explain that not one person the tomb was empty checkmate atheists Explain that. Let me calm down. Lord, Lord, help me. It's Easter. It's Easter morning, Lord. Today is the day that you, you, you rose from the dead for us, Jesus. Calm me down. Take me in your arms. 
uh, everywhere Jesus goes, he brings peacefulness. Jesus, touch me with your peace, peacefulness. Please, I need your peace, Jesus. Amen. The, the tomb was empty. The tomb was empty. Explain that. Explain that one. That's, that's the nail in the coffin for atheists. That is, that is the nail in the, in the coffin for atheists. The tomb was empty. And go look up the world-renowned archaeologist Ron Wyatt. Go look him up. Hello? God's not real. Fuck off. Oh, that's real, that's real funny, sir. That's real mature. Now, do you want to have an actual conversation, or do you just come here to act like a five-year-old? Well, I'm not five. You like five-year-olds? Gimp. Okay, so here's what this person decided to do, right? He woke up on it's Easter Sunday morning. He woke up and he thought, you know what? What can I do? I, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to join a child's app and troll someone for their beliefs. And I'm going to join this. A grown adult just woke up on Easter Sunday and thought, I, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get on a child's app and troll somebody over their beliefs. You can grow up. Grow up. Don't you got anything better to do? All right, guys, I am going to take a break and I will be back shortly later in the afternoon after we I have to go pray because I didn't get my, my morning prayer in and it's Easter and Jesus rose for us, guys. Jesus died for you. But guess what? He came off that cross to come inside you. All right. And we got to pray for these demons. Okay. Now let me read you with let me leave you with my favorite Bible verse, okay? Genesis 9:21. This is how this is how the Bible is so relatable, guys. The Bible is so relatable. You could read a scripture and it just applies to your everyday life. Genesis 9:21. Noah drank some wine, got drunk and passed out naked in his tent. Genesis 9:21. I can relate to that. I've been there. W Noah, honestly, W Noah. Noah, Genesis 9, 21. Noah drank some wine. He got drunk and passed out naked in his tent. W. Noah. Noah was a man of the people. And I, I could see why the good Lord spared him when he had to drown us for all of our evil, wicked sins. Yes, Genesis 9, 21. And I can relate to that. I've been there, right? Who hasn't been there before? That's why the Bible is relatable to your everyday life. And that's how I know it's true. Okay, guys, thank you for being here. I'm going to go pray. Guys, go spend some time with your family. Go do the Easter egg hunts, everybody. And uh, even all you atheists out there who want to celebrate Easter, have fun. Okay? Let's turn our cheeks away from each other. Jesus says, turn the other cheek. So us Christians and atheists, let's all turn our cheeks away from each other. We want you to celebrate Easter with us, atheists. Go have the eat the egg hunt. Go have the, the barbecue, all the good stuff with the family. But just always remember that well, the main reason is Jesus. Jesus is the reason. And God is God. Always remember that. Love you guys.